Hello, welcome back. This is Titanic VR. Uh, uh, okay, explore mode. There's a lot of stuff on here. Let's go for a new game. New game. Let's see what we got in Titanic VR. Sounds very cool. But is the game good? We'll find out. <clears throat> okay. Loading does take a while, huh? Okay. Dang. The Lord is done. On the 11th of April, 1912, Titanic set sail, Ireland, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <clears throat> Killing one 1,500 people. That's pretty, that's a lot. That's unfortunate. The famous story of Titanic. Immersive education. Okay, so my, we might learn something. Pay, pay attention now. Is this, is this, I wonder if this, uh, you can sit and play this one instead of stand. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is the game loading? What's going on? Oh, whoa, look at that. Who? Oh. Hello there. Are you gonna pick me up? Is it just me or the volume is terrible here? All right, I've reached the seabed. Can't see much. Okay, this looks like a seated We're game. Still a couple of hundred meters out, and back to manual control. Shall we run an equipment test? All right, all right. Let me grab a chair and get myself comfortable here. I'm a little bit low. Do you want to con uh, want some control tutorial? Maybe. Let me adjust. Okay, are you gonna let me adjust or not? Okay, that didn't do jacked. <clears throat> oh, you can recenter by pressing this button. Ah, ah. Do you won? Yes. Sure. Let's do this by the book. <coughs> First, let's run through the controls on the panel in front of you. The center. Le Great. Now let's check the altitude control. The lever to your right will allow you to ascend and descend. Oh, ascend and descend. Okay. We'll get it. Looks good. Now, in the middle of the console, there's a map of the site showing your current location in blue. The yellow flashing point is your current goal position. I'll update the map and your goal locations as we go through contracted jobs. If you need to reorient your spotlight, it's the lever on your left. Gotcha. And if you look up, there's a set of VR goggles with a screen. This is the control panel for the Predator. Ah, the ROV. Yep, courtesy of flight avionics and the latest in augmented reality technology. Should let us explore some hard to reach areas. Is that it for the checklist? Huh. That's cool. We have a VR up here. Predator. Okay. You'd better place a marker before we head or to something. Interact with the button next to the map to place one. All right, so we are map. Marker's been placed. <coughs> you can head towards the bow. So, I had a call from our main sponsor. Problem? No, all fine. Just voicing her excitement about us finally diving. Said she's looking forward to seeing what we can do. I've set up a call for 8 p.m. this evening. For $45,000 a day? Let's just hope we find something. Never mind the money. My doctorate is riding on this. Okay, so what are we doing again? What's the objective? I'm sorry, I didn't pay attention. 
Oh, dang, look how far this thing goes down. It can go all the way below the sea. Okay, hold on. I, I'm not supposed to hit both buttons. My bad. Oh, whoa, this is getting me seasick here. How do I reach the forecastle? What the heck is a forecastle? What's that purple thing? There must be a marker that I place. Alright, we're gonna go straight ahead, guys. Straight ahead. <coughs> Full speed ahead! Why am I going so slow? Wait, I don't want to ascend. We're getting there. Target distance is about 60 meters from us. <clears throat> what is this thing? I have no idea. Oh, that's a light. My bad. That's the ship, I think. Whoa. There's, something you don't There's see that. Today. She's a beauty. Oh, yeah. Go up. with the Titanic Society to place their commemorative plaque on the forecastle deck. Get yourself into position. All right. All right. Deploy the Predator. The plaque is in its storage compartment. All right. How do I access the compartment? Through the menu on your right-hand controller. Okay, moving towards the spot now. Great, just remember what I said about these new ROVs. The range is only up to 15 meters. The advantage of driving without an umbilical. Is there any way to boost the signal? Yeah, but we need to upgrade the deep sea transmitter and they don't come cheap. The generosity of our sponsors and UNS funding only goes so far. If we complete these contract jobs, we might just be able to afford some upgrades. What happens if I go out of range? The automatic recall kicks in. ROV comes straight back to the sub. Okay, I have to be over here. Put the plat. <clears throat> That's crazy. They actually put come and put plaques here. I'll take a <clears throat> photograph with the onboard camera for the society. Great idea. <coughs> They'll appreciate that. All right. I need to get back to the ship somehow. Okay, how do I get back to the ship? Oh, there we go. <coughs> the heck is that? Place a plaque on the forecastle. I did that. What is that thing?
Whoa. That's the ROV. Oh, we re recall. Come on back, buddy. Alright, so what do you want me to do again? We're going somewhere. We're heading back. Okay, I already placed the plaque. What else do you want? Some sort of camera. <laughs> Dr. Lynch. Yeah? Why are we doing this? $45,000 a day at sea. No, I know, but that just about covers the costs of the expedition. I meant, like, why are we taking this job in particular? Well, put it this way. Why do you think she hired us? Because we're academics? Yes, but more specifically, you respect the history. It would have been cheaper for our sponsor to just hire a salvage team. And why do you agree to take it? Funding like this comes once in a blue moon, and I wanted to see her up close. Alright, so ROV control. Map maker, move, rotate, ascend, descend, deploy ROV. <laughs> no, no. I right, ROV control again. <coughs> Is that jellyfish over there? I don't know what I'm gonna do next. What do you guys want me to do? Oh, oh, oh. We call ROV. ROV has already been recall. Okay, has set most smooth. <coughs> oh, we got camera. Okay. I'll head back to Sedna. No need. Just take off your goggles and hit the return button. Where to now? <coughs> Hull Beach on E deck. I'll mark it on your map. We're heading for his cabin, right? That's right. Eyewitness testimony said Henderson kept a journal. It should tell us more about his activities on the final night. I presume I'm looking for some kind of trunk. Henderson had a briefcase listed on the manifest. With any luck, it's still in his room. Alright, alright. Make your way toward Hope Reach. Ching ching. Oh god, I think I just hit something. Not good. Not good. Mm, can't get that far. <clears throat> what like horror and stuff come out right now and I've just like died. This in my pants. We are higher.
Yeah, I just missed it. Okay, we completely missed it. Maybe it's at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, definitely at the bottom. The sea, uh, the the ship. Let's go down. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, okay. Okay, I think I'm down too far. Let's go back up. Nope, I'm too far. Nope. Oh, two, two. Oh, no. Wait, make up your mind. Am I supposed to go forward or backwards? If I go any closer, I'll hit the freaking ship, man. All right, I'm too far again. This breach is going to impact with the ocean floor. Anything in here is going to be messy. I'll keep my eyes peeled. All right, so objective breach, enter the ship and locate the briefcase. What? Where is the entrance, by the way? Ah, I see, I see. Let's see, send a little bit. Let's head straight forward. Alright. ROV. Let's go, buddy. This is it. Well, that's lucky. Are you going to open it? No, not here. Uh, assuming there's anything intact in there, it'll start degrading as soon as I open the case. I'll have to bring it back to the lab before we can take a peek. Let's get you to the surface. Activate the autopilot and get comfortable. All right. I'll see you. All right. Two so hours. that is it. We finished chapter one, or at least the first part of the game. Oh, look at this. Open the briefcase. Well, looks to be in good condition. Let's get this cleaned up. These banknotes are delicate and will need a good rinsing in the desalination bath. Then we can treat them in the fungicide to keep them clean or freeze dry them. This journal is pretty special. Pages seem to be a fabric paper blend. Silver doesn't look great after being in the ocean. This tobacco tin is covered in silver sulfide. I'll have to gently wash this. This leather case is looking pretty sturdy, but it will need a good soaking in the pinstal tub to remove the salt. Then I can give it a gentle scrub with the knife. Okay, so have you desalination, desalination, desalination. Boom. How do I, how do I go over there? It's ready for drying in the acetone bath. 
Oh, I guess I have to stand up now. I can't be lazy, huh? Oh, shoot, I might hit the wall. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the wall. This. Let me just reset the views. How do I... Okay, okay. Evidently, I cannot reset the view. I'm so gonna freaking... What? Is everything back in here? Man, what are you guys doing here? Was a comb. Hey, what are you doing here? What? What is what is going on? Oh, I can Oh my god, I can Okay. Okay. I just have to figure out the controls. My bad. I'm a noob. Chill out. I'm a noob. All right, all right. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Are you going to open up for me or what? Okay. Put it over there. What the? Why are you keep doing this? Alright. Okay. The comb is on the floor. Same thing with the money. Give me the comb. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, it's not working. Not working. Okay. Go back there. Go back. Okay, I don't need the whole briefcase. Is that Benjamin? No. Okay. Wash station. Scrubbing. Fungicide. Freeze the dry money. I don't know how I'm doing this fight, but you know what? Freeze the dry journal? Alright. Okay, let's get the money. Let's get the journal. This is acetone. Conserve the con control. Okay, okay. Money, comb. Maybe you put these in the acetones. I have no idea. Conserve the cone, comb. Okay. 
What do I do with this one? Not stationed. What is this? Storage solution. Artifact storage solutions. Oh, come on. Uh, what's my objective now again? Wash, open the journal, wash the tobacco tin, open the journal, desalinate the suitcase. Oh, I have to desalinate the suitcase too? My bad. Wash the suitcase. Wash so that, scrub that. Oh yeah. Alright. I'll watch the suitcase. You want to screw up inside too? Now it's clean. It needs to be soaked in PEG and fungicide. Fungicide. Soften the leather and stop it from cracking. Alright. It's freeze dry. There's only one place for you in here, buddy. <clears throat> okay, so have you conserved the suitcase now? Okay, we got a wash. The tobacco tin? Oh, I have not washed tobacco tin. Give me the tobacco tin. I'll wash you. I swear I wash it too many times. It's come up great. Okay. Okay, so that's it. Let me get the t uh, open the journal. Turn the journal page. Evidently, stuff in here falls on the floor, gets dirty, and you cannot. For my stuff. Pick them up. Oh God.
special package. That's interesting. Here's our sponsor. We can tell her the news. Hi, Jean. How are you both? Hi, Gillian. We're doing great. We've just finished cleaning the artifacts we found today. We managed to access Henderson's cabin and retrieve his briefcase. Wonderful. Inside, we found his journal. A few personal items still in good condition. One interesting item is a receipt for a telegraph sent on the night of the sinking. Oh, that is interesting. I didn't know William sent a message. That's what we thought. It's possible it wasn't sent, and that it's still in either the purser's office or the Marconi room. We're thinking our next dive should be to explore these rooms. I know teams have searched the Marconi room before, but I didn't think the purser's office was accessible. Yeah, up till now it's been off-limits due to the size of ROVs, but ours is small enough to access it. We're hoping we might find the purser's record book, with the message listed. As for the Marconi room, other dives have shown most of the furniture has deteriorated, but the telegraph canisters might have survived. Hmm, sounds plausible. Let me know if you find anything. I'd love to see the message he sent. I've only the letters from Southampton. She, she looks like that lady from James Bond movie. On the 14th he mentions carrying some special package, but I'm sure he didn't have anything reported in the manifest. Do you have any idea what it could be? Well, in his last letter, he wrote about returning home with a present for my great-grandmother. I'll do a bit of research on my end. I can check over the manifest again to see if we missed anything. Great. We'll let you know if we find anything tomorrow. I'm sending over photos of the items we found today. Thanks. I really appreciate the regular updates. It's making writing much easier. We'll talk again soon. Well, shall we call it a day? Not quite. Jillian was kind enough to order in a stronger transmitter for our ROV. We'll need to fit it before the dive tomorrow. Otherwise, we won't be able to reach the purser's office. Get on Add the, the sample to uh, the sample to a container. Yeah. What sample? What do you want me to do with this ROV thing? No, oh, there's something down here. Uh, what is that? Oh, jeez. No. Oh, this is this a sample? No. What sample, man? All right, let me go back to the thing. Read the objective. Fit the ROV's new transmitter at the sample container to the ROV. Fit the sample. Is there a bottle that label sample? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Boom. Complete uh, at the sandwich of the container of the ROV sample. Where is the container? <coughs> Evidently that's not where it goes. Wait. Go there? No. Ah, uh, oh, there's images. Okay. If I learn how to read, that would be nice. There he is. Go and. He's all ready to go for tomorrow. Cool. I'll see you in the morning. Then. All right, we did it. Okay, guys, I'm going to call that video here. Definitely don't want this to be for too long, but uh, this game looks interesting, so I'm probably going to be back and play some more. Um, until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.